What we are looking at here is the door for a 2001 Chevy Venture, and today what we're going to fix is a problem where the window will go down, but it will not go back up. And the reason why is because the motor for the window, which you see right here, was replaced some time ago. However, you'll notice that there's three sections here, and on this section, you can see that we've got a clip right here that helps to hold that motor in place. But if you look over here, you can see that that is no longer there, and it is also missing off of here as well. So what will happen inadvertently is your window will roll down, or it won't roll at all, uh, because I will show you here, you can hear it, this motor is vibrating. What happens is the motor needs some leverage. So normally when it goes and does this thing, it will push against these clips in order to give itself that leverage to move the arm. But where those clips are broken off, the motor can't do its job anymore. So we are going to fix that with a simple kit. Apparently this was a very common problem. So I have ordered this kit from Dorman. That is part number 924-072 regulator repair. And in this kit, it is really, really simple. We will open it up. In our kit, we've got three screws. And we've got this metal plate. And we have an instruction sheet here. Very simple instructions here show you how the plate goes on. It shows you where the broken tabs are. It shows you how the plates goes on. And the instructions are really simple. You remove the inner door panel and you access the window regulator. You have to peel away a plastic layer as well. You install the bracket over the window regulator. You take three points which have holes in the brackets already. So it'll go like this. You'll have these little holes here. You will drill a hole through it with a 3 32nd drill bit and then you will finish screwing it right into the plastic. So here we go. Our plate will assemble over this. Looks like I might have to move some things out of the way. So give me just a second. <laughs> give me just a second to do that. Okay, so unfortunately I am not talented enough to be able to hold the camera and drill and all the stuff at the same time but uh, what I have found is that the plate is not going to just stay right into place very easily even with two hands available um, it's very unsteady process at least for me uh, but so what I ended up doing you kind of have to try to adjust the plate to find the best place to put your screw in so I ended up placing my first screw right here in this corner um, you can kind of see right near where the serial numbers are um, you see the, the bracing and the plastic, that's where I drilled my pilot hole and then using a power screw uh, drill was able to screw that into place. I didn't screw it down completely, I've still got some flexibility here, that way I can try to play with the placement of the other two pieces. Okay, so we've got the second screw in place here. Um, it was a little bit harder for me to find a spot where to do it and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to show you very clearly where that is at here but that kind of gives you a, a good idea um, now it's not squarely centered over this like it shows in the picture um, so we just kind of do the best we can with it okay I now have that third screw in there uh, this one proved a little bit more difficult I'm not exactly sure if I found the pilot hole where I drilled um, and 
I can't tell. I might have stripped that just a little bit trying to, to get that in there. But hopefully this will be the last time I ever have to do this. So let us see what this window does now. Window goes down smooth. Window goes up smooth. That plate still moves a little bit, or the motor moves a little bit. And I can see it's moving because I don't think I have got that securely put in here. Like, Yeah, as a matter of fact, I see I got some little bit of play. So let me try to get that in there just a little bit more. All right, I was able to screw that in just a little bit more. See what we got now. All right, I think uh, we may have this problem licked. Let me roll down one more time. Got just a little bit of flex right in there. Um, so hopefully this holds pretty well. Um, if not, I know I can go back in there and probably patch that up with some JB Weld or a strong adhesive, patch that hole back in, redrill it to try to make that right again. So I think that uh, proves that this kit uh, does what it's supposed to do. Uh, again, that is from Dorman. It is part number 924-072 regulator repair kit for many common models of uh, early and mid-2000 Chevrolet vehicles, including the Chevrolet Venture from 2001. Thanks for watching my video.